Hi, I'm Betty Sullick. I've been coming to Encounter for right around two years now. And I recently joined and was baptized as a youngster. We had kind of a dysfunctional family. It was pretty good sometimes, and other times it, it was pretty chaotic. My mother and dad were separated three times and remarried, so we were in and out of the house, and it, you never made friends because we moved all the time. And Then I went through my teen years where I had some things I was pretty ashamed of, things that stuck in my craw that I couldn't get rid of. Then I got married the first time, and my first husband stepped out on me when our first anniversary, and that was very hard. But it was a good thing because then I met my husband that I had for the next almost 30 years. Our faith was good at, you know, at home. We were all, you know, Christian and sent our son to Christian school. But as far as going to church, it was like very sporadic. Stuff was missing in my life and I have regrets about that. A lot of big regrets with my son especially, even though he's a good man, but he should have been raised up going to church. Finally, I got invited here for my grandson and that was a big turning point. And actually, it was a bigger turning point when my husband died. I got home and I'm like, because I had passed him on my way home from work, and it was like, where is he going? I, so I called him on the cell phone, which I never did that, ever called him on the cell phone. And I called and I said, what are you doing? He said, oh, I needed gas and had a flat tire. And I said, you need me to come up? Because he had this blockage and it was hard on him in the cold and it was cold out. No, I'll be home in a bit, you know. Thank God I told him I loved him because <laughs> it's the last chance I had. <laughs> And I sat down within, I would say, less than 30 minutes. I had a call from Spectrum Health. I knew he was dead. I just, I don't know how I knew, except God had to tell me. And that was a big turning point. And I just knew that I had to change things. I started a journey to seek out a good church, you know, someplace I could go and be comfortable in, learn what God is all about because Getting that message to call my husband basically is what how I felt that he, he called me to call him. And I just needed more. My whole life, I've been afraid of everything, really shy and not really out there with people. My husband used to tell me, honey, will you relax? You would worry something up. If there's nothing to worry about, you're going to think of it. And I don't do that anymore as much. And I've noticed it because I pray every day for that, not to worry about stuff I can't change. You know, my son a year ago, he wanted to know what I wanted for Christmas. I said, I, I'm going to church and everybody has these Bibles. Why don't I have a, I don't have a Bible. He said, are you going to read it? And I said, well, of course I'm going to read it. What do you think I want it for? Just to sit there and collect dust? Yes, I'm going to read it. And he got me that Bible and I read every day, every single morning since I've gotten that Bible. I've not missed a day. I have a sister that's really into the Bible, and she helps me out if I get stuck on something, you know, and have some questions about things. And I have met people here that they help me out, you know. If I got a question, I can, I know I can call and ask. I was baptized on November 10th, and it was the greatest feeling ever. And the whole time leading up to it, it was just something in my heart I had to do. Even though I was baptized as an infant, I was making that choice for myself that I wanted to tell God I trust in him and I know he's in my heart and I want him to stay there. It was very emotional for me and actually it was emotional for my little four-year-old grandson because he knew, he recognized how happy I was because he told me he knew I was happy I was 66 because I'd been baptized and that just made my heart melt. His love is 100%. I couldn't do half of what I do or be what I am without his love. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just my heart feels full. Oh.